All right, YouTube, we're here for another league. Here with some Richard Shadow. Yeah, I just think that, like, there's so many cards that are really, like, hitting, um, hitting Snapcaster, hitting, um, uh, whatever it is, hitting Snapcaster, hitting, um, oh, I can't think. Hitting Snapcaster. I even, like, hitting, like, after sideboard the commands and the, um, uh, Liliana's. That I, th I just think that, like, it's just very... I, I would not cut... Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, I would agree. I agree that it's a poor top deck, but you don't want to get blown out of the game in the early game. You know what I mean? I guess Bolt can help a little bit in the early game if they get lazy with a Death Shadow. But... Yeah, I mean, I, I can understand... Let me just care the shadow. Yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. And I get that there might be cards that you want to cut before Lightning Bolt comes out. I don't think Inquisition is one of them. I, I play two. Yeah. For similar reasons to that. I like two pushes and two bolts. All right, I would like to lead off. Islands is life. All right, his hand's pretty solid. I'm going to fetch a Blood Crypt. Actually, I'm not going to fetch yet. Well, maybe. I don't want to cycle on turn one because I might hit a Serum Visions and want to cycle into it. Yeah. Well, the mirror is not as popular as it used to be, for sure. This cuts off some of my outs for a turn two shadow. I'm gonna feel bad if there's a if we like wraith into a if we wraith into um I'm gonna feel bad if we if we street wraith into another fetch land, but that's kind of what we are. So I think I'm gonna take this noble hierarch. I kinda of wanna just slow them down. I might be able to get in get this militia burglar before it, bugler before it comes down. And like the vial is scary, but there's not a lot going on in that hand. Like it's kind of a loose hand. I don't think that's a keep on set on seven. Unless they just want to figure out what this card does. They're testing it out, which is legit. I don't think the Mario matchup is like as awful as everyone says it is. Okay, so we need to hit like a removal spell here. All right, that's a good draw. Kite Sail Freebooter, you can have that. That doesn't do anything. And we'll go here. Uh, yeah, I, I I was struggling against KCI for a little while, but it just took me a bit to figure out how to play against that deck. And then when I began to figure out what matters, I started winning more against KCI. My constructed rating hovers between like 1775 and 1825. I don't know what it's at now. I've done I've done a fair bit of losing lately. Yeah, we're at 1745. There. I was winning about... Yeah, well, that's that's much. That's a lot. How much Death Shadow are you playing? Okay, that's, that is 35 and 5 against KCI. That is a lot. There's a lot of games, a lot of reps. I think what matters against KCI is, like, I began to like rely too much on my shatter effects. This has been kind of rough. This might turn into like a death shadow, like a snapcaster at the end of the turn here. Um, and like the shatter effects like aren't super great against them once they have like their engine going. Like the shatter effects are good at certain points in the game, but like a lot of times shattering a mox opal or a mind stone is better than actually shattering a scrap trawler or um, a KCI, because, like, the damage has been done. Yeah, thank you, Nameless. I appreciate it. Um, 
I lost my train of thought. So like, yeah, I don't know who Tanashi is, but um, what was I saying? Like, a lot of the times, and then like, I was starting to like keep a lot of these hands that relied on Death Shadow, and I realized that like their deck is very good at dealing with Death Shadow. It's very much a Gurmag Angler game is the way to beat them. All right, I'm just going to flash the Snapcaster in here. That's nice that they're attacking. There's not a th I mean, they can flash in a Thalia and just eat my Snapcaster, but, like, the Thalia basically makes my Snapcaster mage useless anyways. And I know two out of the three cards. So we're just gonna just gonna ambush Viperum. I would love to hit another land because then I probably well now. Right, that's not bad. That makes the Thalia play better for the home team. It's a very awkward humans draw here. I should have tapped my other land. I'm so used to like stubborn denial, like representing stubborn denial to be good. And that's just pretty useless against humans. Yeah, if you can steal game one against humans, it's so good. I actually think this matchup's pretty close. Like, I kept about 150 matches of stats here where I wrote my articles on for top deck productions. And I found that I was actually, like, pretty close with a pretty close matchup with humans. But I kept losing game one. Like, game one is just awful. I'm actually going to shoot the one that's with summoning sickness to help they attack. Yeah, I would say that I have not played that volume nameless, but I would say that I'm fairly close to that. Hmm. Well, you get that when you get a lot of the best deck, right? Hopefully my opponent just attacks. That would be sweet. I doubt they will, but I would be a fan. I also think the Death Shadow decks have evolved to have a really good sideboard plan against humans. Cards like Grim Lava Mancer, cards like, um, you know, a Braid. All right, so we're just going to cast this because it's going to grow Shadow. There's not really... One might get Reflector Mage, but, like, that's the cost of doing business. We know one of my opponent's cards. So here comes a Reflector Mage. Wow, they didn't send that into attack. My worst game against Amulet Titan. Huh. Are you keeping all these stats on Mort? Is that, is that what you do? I'm surprised they didn't swing in with that and just try to make something happen. But I guess, like, them attacking isn't great anyways. Yeah, I need to, like, I have the information for Mort. I just have not set it up yet. I've been keeping, like, a, just a, a Google Docs there. The video that guy posted was, like, an hour long. I was like, man, I don't really want to watch this. So Fetchland likely wins me the game unless they have Reflector Mage. But Mort, are you from Brazil? Yeah. Mort is, seems really good. Like, uh, I see Canister use it all the time. Land. That's not a bad, it's not a bad weekend. You don't? Does he like go over it right in the beginning? And click a button, okay. I'm overthinking it. I'm not really thinking about what this attack means. Like, I'm not really sure how this goes that bad for me. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we got this. This is a really solid, like I don't think my opponent, my opponent drew pretty poorly. Like we, we certainly got lucky here. Yeah, I'm gonna go f fill my tea water back up.
<sighs> Why no attack would snap? I don't really have a great reason why I didn't attack my Snapcaster Mage, um, to tell you the truth. Alright, so let's get these out of here. Let's get these out of here. And these. And that's how we do it. Yeah. Yeah, I cut three Gurmag Anglers because I cut just one. Yeah, it just because of how um, how much of a beating Reflector Mage is. Yeah, I I I like flirt with the TBR because like you do only have four shadows, but like I find if you draw a TBR, it's just so good. So I think I'm going to keep this hand because I can disrupt them on one. I have a redraw, and if I find a second land, this hand's pretty dynamite. So I think we're going to keep this. And my opponent Mulligan, and I love thoughts of using people after they mull. Well, Nameless, you should check me out on Twitter. It's linked below. Just I don't know what your real information is. So like, if you'd like to talk that shadow, you can. I am always down. It's unfortunate we can't kill this. So I'm actually just going to bobble myself, because if there's a Fatal Push or a Dismember on top of my deck, I might dismember this Hierarch and not Thought Seize. No, that sucks. It also that's that. All right, the K Command's rough. Champion Mantis Rider. So we're going to take this Mantis Rider. We don't want to do, we don't need to play Mantis Rider on two. You don't lose Twitter. You need to get with the world, Nameless. All right, so we need to land on top. If we need to land on top. We're in pretty good shape. My opponent doesn't really have anything going on. Only truth. Eighty five and fifty five. That's so much Tron. I would just like be so sad if I played against Tron that much. Well, at least we're going to be able to play Death Shadow here. All right. So we draw another land. We should be pretty solid. So we can bolt this. God. I mean, this is, this is kind of like what I signed up for, right? This is the bet I lie in. Mm-hmm. Tron's a really good deck. <clears throat> like, so I'm playing the Team Grand Prix in uh, in Detroit, and it's Unified Modern. And one of my friends is really, really into um, Blue Moon and Modern. And he does pretty decent with it. <clears throat> so he might play Blue Moon, and then I might play Tron, because I can't play Snapcaster Mages. Is this going to be a Reflector Mage, Melee Mage? Okay. I play Jun Shadow. I can't play humans because my teammate's probably gonna play Infect. That's just what they know. Yeah. I was listening to the So we get a free block here because of this is how Death Shadow works. The way that's you know like state based effects, Death Shadow becomes a six six with two points on it. And we just get to heat it, which is gas. Why attacking? I think I'm attacking. I think we're just turning this boy sideways. And we're just going to pray to God my opponent doesn't rip a Reflector Mage. My opponent rips a Reflector Mage, we're not winning anyways because then we can't play another one.
They can't set more than lethal to your monster. Oh, are you talking about like Battle Rage or Trample? Oh, like Block Smasher. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm just swinging with this. I'm not beating Reflector Mage anyways, because that means I can't play Shadow for two turns, even if we don't sit back here and block. Oh, no, play this out. Oh, they, they called, they named that shot. I even missed that with that thing. Well, now I just killed myself. I was sitting here talking and I missed it. Rut row. They named that shadow. I just complete like right here, this just went over my head. I was talking in the chat. And now I can't play my other shadow. Now we're three, six, seven. Yep. Just, just zoned out there. I'm just chatting. And that's what you get when you stream. You're gonna you're gonna miss a thing or two from you're just talking. The chat that was in some ways the chat lethal there. We're gonna run it back here. It's all right. My opponent drew horribly in game one, so we're, think of it as we're evening up. I think so. I think we've got a good good setup. So pretty quick, Gurmag Angler. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. The turn two angler with two cantrips. It's not great. Like we'd like to see something like a lava mancer. But you know, you can't always have what you, exactly what you want here. Getting a threat down on two is just gonna be a really big game. They're playing champion, which is like the least threatening card they could play. Okay, we hit a shadow, milled three lands, which is nice. Another shadow. It's Zoro. How are you doing tonight? We're gonna get Blood Crypt. Serum Visions. Okay, Battle Rage is gas. The second Battle Rage we probably don't need. We do want this Thought Seize, because someone has to get our cards into play. Play the Black Tarmoloif. <laughs> yeah, basics are awkward. I've tried for so long to just play a Swamp and not play an Island. Like, I try that so often, and it just kills me every time. Yes. The basics hurt. This is the Black Tarmor Wife, yes. Thalia is kind of annoying. Thalia means I can't play two Death Shadows this turn. But we're just going to get in here before Tad. Then we're going to Thought Seize our opponent and then cast Death Shadow. We're going to take pretty much doing a Reflector Mage check here. Okay, so they can play a bunch of Thalia's Lieutenants, Direfully Daredevil. I really want to take this Reflector Mage. Because, like, we can play Shadows for the rest of the game. So I think we have to take Reflector Mage. This is tough. Because they have good plays all the way around. Like, they can Lieutenant and crash in. I agree. You can't, because if they reflect our mage to Death Shadow, then, like, you can't play another. Like, my best line here is to play another Death Shadow. Is to hopefully they just go Thalia's Lieutenant and get aggressive and think they can win that way. Yep, the little things about Daredevil. So Daredevil's not going to be super relevant. Besides, a 2-1 First Striker isn't actually bad. But if my opponent goes, like, Thalia's Lieutenant attack, then we could be, we're in good shape. If we actually want my opponent to crack me for seven here, then we go to five. My Death Shadow is an eight. And then we just Battle Rage. Whatever they don't block, we win. So we definitely have some outs in this game because just because Battle Rage is sweet. This battle rage just gets you out. Of, like, there's so many issues with this deck because of how it works and how it functions. 
Battle Rage just fixes all of that. Okay, so they're just chilling. Oh, shnikes. So now I think I just play Shadow, pass, dismember something, and then just look to wreck them in combat. And then um, untap and battle rage and win. I should have attacked with my Gurmag. That was a pun. That was a super pun because then I can just dismember. Like I should have, I should have been more aggressive there for sure. That was so stupid. If I'd have thought that out, I think I actually would have swang with both of these. I should have, like, I did that whole turn wrong. Yeah, I did that whole, whole turn wrong. That whole turn was just, like, super poor. Very poor. I was just, like, zoning out. I should have attacked with both of my creatures before playing the Death Shadow. And then Dismember just wrecks them. And then I play another Shadow here. Or at least should have attacked with Gurmag Angler. So what is this? So now I probably dismember this. Block, block. These are big. I should at least tack with Gurmag Angler. Yes. So this is three power. This is four power. This is two power. These are fives. So we are there, so they just go block here. Well, we're gonna do this no matter what. <clears throat> Might be poor timing to do it, but. And now we want something like a fetch land. Fetch land would be really good. Fetchland probably ends the game. Snapcaster. Snapcaster doesn't really do a lot. So we know their hand. So if I just attack with my two Death Shadows, because we can have up to 20 points, they can easily block that. If I attack with both Death Shadows, then they do have to at least put a block on. So if they just block here, and then I block this on the crackback, and then take five, even if they flicker something to get another trigger. So yeah, I'm definitely sending in with both of these Death Shadows. Yeah, we're going in with both of these. Even if my opponent plays directly Daredevil, this is five. I'm assuming my opponent blocks with this or this. So if my opponent blocks with this, then we just let it let it go. I block this Dahlia's Lieutenant, take six. Right? Go to two. And then Battle Rage is like super lethal. And I can flash my Snapcast Mage in if I need to for another blocker. Now that I can flash my Snapcaster Mage in for another blocker, it might actually be worth going attacking with the Gurmag Angler as well. Because then they have to go block. They have to block two creatures. We win the combat with each of those creatures. Like if these two go, then I just, yeah, I'm going to send it with the Gurmag Angler. <clears throat> Because we can just, like, say, pass, kill a bunch of stuff. Like, if they just go block, 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 then we just pass priority. We have another blocker, and then we can do this next turn with even a better board presence. <clears throat> Granted, we wouldn't have this issue if I'd had my head on my ass last turn, but it was squarely in my ass. <clears throat> it's 
So this doesn't be Battle Rage. We trade here. So now, so we're sitting here, trade, trade. So I should just Battle Rage this. And then I have two Death Shadows and they're at 10. And we have our Kologon's Command on next turn. My opponent can't play Resto. They can Dire Fleet Daredevil dismember one of my Death Shadows, which isn't necessarily great. But if they do that, they're just dead. So we're going to let this happen and Battle Rage this Death Shadow. How are you doing tonight, Johnny? Okay, and now my opponent's dead. I don't think they ever draw Reflector Mage, lets them stay in it. But even Reflector Mage, I just snap Dismember. So, Mantis Riders, Mantis Riders, do it. yeah, they just don't have a draw. And again, we wouldn't have been in this position if we'd have had our head on our asses last turn. Yeah, and they go hit the Dismember, Dismember a Death Shadow. Then we just go bing bing, and it's good night, Irene. <clears throat> it's just how we drew it up. And we wouldn't have had to made that stressful attack had we not been dumb the last turn. So like I put myself in the position. I guess we can do this. We can skin the cat any way we want here. I guess I shouldn't. <clears throat> Dismember. How are you doing tonight, Tom? Oh, my opponent said GG's. I didn't say GG's back. That was poor. You're a Mongolian bastard. Chat's about to get greasy. Wow. The 1 0 against the 4 0. This isn't usually how this works. I feel bad for my opponent. I'm going to mulligan. I really don't like this hand doesn't get a Death Shadow or a Gurmag Angler to play fast enough, and these are basically mulligans. He was going to T3 sub. Wow, that's that's some serious love. I don't want this Angler, I don't think. Just not going to be able to get to it in time. Now, this is horrible for playing against an interactive deck which it looks like we are. So there goes my threat. And there goes the game. Johnny, I'm not sure I can handle I can handle the what, what's coming from you right now. I had some beers. I had uh I had a nice tall boy founders this afternoon. Founders should sponsor my stream. I love drinking Founders beer. Lantern. Okay, so we we can't win. Our hands like in such we, we just drew in such a way where we are not gonna beat Lantern. Oh, dude, I love Founders. What are they doing? So they're milling this? I don't think that's actually worth fighting for. Since the last game was better years with four angler. Five plus five plus five plus five equals twenty. The real the real scrody. That's really that's really the only thing that I'm worried about when it comes with Gourmet Anglers versus Tassigers. I don't think it's worth. We're going to let that go. 
Okay, another Blood Saint Meyer is decent because I don't need to get Death Shadow on the play. But though my opponents, we're just like super dead. If my if my opponents get a land, we're dead because um because I I'm actually just cold this in game one. So I've like gotta hope that I don't know. I'm super dead. That's that's what that's what I'm trying to say here. We have a land coming, so I have to hope my opponent bricks on lands for like three turns in a row. If they do that, then we got a we got a shot. No, we're dead. We are dead. It is tough to articulate sometimes, Johnny, as you know. Like we've been we've been live for two hours here and working all day. No. Nope. K commands are in the board. We have some solid ones for this matchup though. We got we got some solid heaters here. So we don't want dismember. We can get that out of there. Uh, fatal push can go. I actually don't really know how to board against Lantern. I haven't played against Lantern in so long. All these battle rages can go in one Gurmag Angler. I'm only gonna need one threat to win the game. I just need to keep ensnaring bridge off the table. That's the only thing that we need to do. Because like Yeah, they're not they're not gonna effectively kill my creatures. <clears throat> oh Johnny boy. All right, I would like to play first, and we shall keep this. This is a solid hand. We need to find some disruption, but it's like a quick clock. We can dig. It's quite a bit of dig. Mardu? It's a solid deck. It is a solid deck. Mardu is my favorite deck to play. It is a lot of fun to play. Okay, so we want this Street Wraith for um what am I doing? I don't I think I'm gonna thought scour. I'm not gonna fetch yet. Alright, gas. This is how we drew it up. Blood crypt. My bonus had sixty one cards. All right, we're just going to take their Thoughtseize because we need to play Death Shadow. <clears throat> we have a good turn where we can go, like, uh, looting, and we're drawing another Street Wraith, which is nice. So there's the Inventor's Fair. Louis Marsh. They hit. Oh, my God. That is such a beating. That is rough. So we know their hand. We know what they're drawing. All right, so we won't, we're probably going to want that rejection. So let's loot. We have Death Shadow on top. So we can make them shuffle away their lantern, and then we can then we can Thought Scour them and draw it. So I think we're in the market for that. Wow, they let me have it. Okay. I thought I was going to have to fight for that. They just scooped it up. They probably made the mistake where they realized they should have they should have lanterned to shuffle my shadow away. I would have just thought scoured them to draw it, but they just missed out. They like time walked themselves basically. Yes. Johnny, Snapcaster's a good card, man. I'm on I'm on Team Snapcaster. I believe in Team Snapcaster. <clears throat> All 
I'm going to keep this hand. If I hit a land, then it's... Pr if I hit a fetch land, I can play Angler on two, and I can Thought Seize, Stub, and Rejection. And they mulligan, so, like, this hand's pretty solid. <clears throat> Mardu is great. He says... Okay, so what do we got a Needle? My opponent Needle's Bloodstain Mire, I'm going to throw up. Okay. So I can either Serum Visions to try to find a land, or I can Thought Scour and hold up Stubborn Denial, which I think is better. So they mulligan a four, basically, because the Ley Line's not great. I mean, it's obviously great, but, like, Ley Line on a mulligan is pretty brutal. Welding Jar. Okay. Pixis. I think we're good with Pixis. We're just worried about, like, Lantern and Bridge at this point. Yeah, this is, this is like, 73 or so of what we're doing. But the sultry song of Snapka. It's hard for anyone to escape. Once you hear it, it's just so good. Land. Dees. All right, we hit a, all right, that's not a great one. So the question is, do I just tap out and hope they have Gurmag, hope they don't have it? They need to draw land and ensnaring bridge to have it. So their two draw sets have to be perfect. If I get this Gurmag angler down and they miss, the game's likely over. So we're going to make them have it. Needs a nut. Okay, Graph Digger's Cage is sweet. Game's over. I'm going to start abrading this Mox Opal at the end of their turns in order to just, like, slow them down. You cast the Envisions. I should have fetched a, probably Steam Vents with this land. That was a mistake. Okay, so we're just going to hit this Mox Opal. If they want a welding jar, they can welding jar. They can't do anything at its speed here. This just makes it so they lose. Yeah, it's another two mana off bridge, which is A-OK. -okay. All right, so now we're in good shape. I just don't even want to, like, I don't even want to, I just want to hold behind my two counter spells. Like, I don't, I have the tools to win the game. I don't even really want to, like, serum visions or do anything like that. I think we're just going to keep going in here and attacking. This game's over. <clears throat> and we got him like we they got us in game two we had a pretty explosive game three draw and like whenever you have leyline in your deck it gets much it gets just so much worse after uh after all the like when you mulligan and you hit a ley line it's like you mulligan again basically i just like wanted both counter spells they're nameless i didn't really i didn't think like how i could like I was trying to think how I could lose, and I didn't think there was any card combination they had that I could lose with two counter spells up and being able to abrade something at the end of the turn. Like I just, I was like, I don't know, like with a five-five in play, I didn't really see why I had to do anything. That's the only. That's the reason why I did it like that. It's been a good stream so far. I think we're six and one on the stream tonight, which is nice. Last night's stream was rough. I lost five in a row last night and just was like, okay, not feeling it. Played loose. Had some bad beats, which was tough. Um, go Team Shadow. Yes, yes, sir. Had some bad beats. Um, like on my, my stream, my stream yesterday, I, uh, so I kept this, I kept this one land hand that had Faithless Looting in it, and it had, uh, I was playing against Eldrazi and Taxes, and I was on the draw. And it had two discard spells, some remo some two mana removal, um, a Death Shadow. It was a pretty solid hand, with one land and Faithless Looting, though. Um, and, and my opponent scries to the bottom, 
I thought seized some card from them, and they top deck Nathalia. Nathalia just straight locked me out of the game. It was all over. Like, Nathalia was just, like, game over. I'm not really sure what Edge Shark is saying there, but we're we're gonna give you a break. Not exactly sure what's going on there, but well, let me give you a second. Yes. Ah, uh, sounds very good. Opponent mulligans. Best thing you do to opponent mulligans is thought seize them. Oh, okay. We're gonna play some interactive magic here. It's an unfortunate draw. Let's go get a watery grave. Okay. All right. So we get the blood right elf deck. They put a card on top, so this is likely a... Like, if this is a Bob, I'm just going to hurl. Okay. It's an Inquisition. All right. Well, we're going to be able to get way underneath... Maybe get underneath this... Um, this Bloodbraid Elf. All right, Johnny, enough. We're going to play this to bluff some more stuff. We know their hand, so at least we're going to be able to snap Thoughtseize here. Yeah, snap's a big draw. Very good against this deck. <clears throat> Hopefully there's no play here. Black Leaf Quiz. Like a Liliana and I'd hurl. Okay. All right, Stubbs, another good draw. So we're going to look to get off to the races next turn. I think this turn we're just going to take care of this um, Blood Bright Elf. I tend to think this is kind of a bad matchup. I think that uh, Jun just has, like, like, their deck is clunky as all can be, but the power level in all of their cards is just, like, off. They're just out of this world. And it's so difficult. Like, once they get rolling, it's so difficult to beat them. So one, two, three, four. So we can play Angler next turn. So let's get in for two. I'm gonna play my Bloodstain Mire. Play Shadow. And then the also like lower numbers of Fatal Push have made this matchup hard. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You always play. You you play two basics. I always try to find ways to not play basic lands, but like I try to, I try, I've always tried to play like the swamp, but I just get wrecked so much. Okay, so it gets Jund. We kind of have a lot of duds. We're going to take this out. We're going to cut down on some street rates, maybe a lot of them. I want these, I want these cards here. I don't really like Stubborn Denial against this deck. And I'll keep like one in. I don't ever really know how to sideboard very much well against this deck. I tend to just... This is what I've been doing. I really just don't like Stubborn Denial against this deck. Like, you just can't keep a threat online. And there are things that like really matter are like Blood Red Elf and Blood Red Elf just is just vomit inducing. You like denial. Well, the only cards I would keep in instead of denial are like if I want to shape like I could shave a street wraith or two and then go like this. But it, it comes like the denials come from this card here. Yeah, I think we just disagree on the Inquisition front, Nameless. Yeah, I mean, the looting's help with that, but we need to get underneath this deck. Like, I'm not really looking 
Like I need to just establish the board presence quickly. And like the discard spells are often better ways to do that than uh, than the counter spells. And I want to have enough answers to Bob on the draw here. Ninth place. How you doing tonight, Rob? We're gonna keep it. This is just what I tend to do here. Mm-hmm. Because the game goes long, I find, and I think that they get their deck's much more explosive than it used to be. That's what I think. What I played here is like sometimes like they'll go down to like beating you down, beating you down, then like blood break, blood break elf hit a K command, shoot you for five attack, something like that. I just tend to think that like their deck's much more explosive, like, or they can just do something like where you know with obviously the end of turn removal spell, fire up raging ravine. I don't like to go too low on life total against this deck. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely did not think the long the long um, games were bad until they until they got rid of Bloodbraid Elf, and then when Bloodbraid Elf, like I thought, Death Shadow was very favorite in this matchup until Bloodbraid Elf was printed. And we're gonna keep this. We don't want a Mulligan. We don't have to. But then, like Bloodbraid Elf, just changes so much stuff. That's his right. I mean, this deck was a joke before Bloodbright Elf was unbanned. It's arguably a joke now that Bloodbright Elf is unbanned. It just dominates my deck. It feels bad. All right, so we want both of these, even though they don't really work well together. One, two... One, two. Maybe I don't want this Snapcaster Mage because I'm going to delve my whole graveyard. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to put five cards in the graveyard and then like get Liliana and throw up. But at least we can K command the Liliana. So I don't think we want this, and we do want this one. <clears throat> yeah, but I've got a fetch to get Gurmag Angler down next turn, right? I think that getting the Gurmag Angler in play is pretty important. Because even against like Liliana, the makes it so that our Colagon's command can work with the Angler, especially the lands that we have. Bob. Okay. The Bob's no bueno. Not to mention they have four Liliana the Veils, which is like the best card in the matchup, probably. So, looks like we're going to be able to snap command. Nice 2 3. And they go like Liliana Edict. And the game's over. All right, well, we're going to smoke that Bob. All right, that's a good draw. So let's get in for five first. Yeah, Lily's tough. Oh, nice. I prefer the older arts in the lands. I, I kind of want to fetch an island. I just like being conservative, but if I go like Shatter Shock, they're gonna crack me. If I go to eleven, they crack me for five. Blood Bright Elf, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fetch an island. We're gonna be able to get low enough, anyways. <clears throat> they dish an ooze, which is good for the home team. Hopefully, now what we really want to do is we need to hit another spell here so I can double spell my shadow into Snap K command. Okay, pulse is, pulse is all right. We didn't draw another spell. Sad. All right. My opponent's only got two cards left.
If my opponent Liliana's me, I'm probably going to let it happen. Then next turn, snap K command, return the shadow, shoot the Liliana. Okay, nice. Don't Liliana me. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's a concerning feeling. Okay, so what do I have for bait? What do I have for deck lands left in my deck? All my shock lands are left. So I've got two watery graves, one watery grave and one blood crypt. So I'm I'm not gonna shock myself because this rage and ravine makes me nervous. I'm probably gonna snap command return Gurmag Angler, make them discard a card. So, like, I would bet my bottom dollar there's a Bloodbraid Elf in their hand. They gotta have a Bloodbraid Elf. And if they've got two good spells, we can snap Thoughtseize. Okay, they're just gonna bolt me. Well, snap Thoughtseize leaves me down on the board. So, we're not gonna do that. This can still fetch me a basic if I need it to. Forty-two viewers, I appreciate y'all showing up and hanging out tonight. Uh, my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Card Horror Network. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. I would appreciate that very much. Almost to a thousand followers. A thousand followers. And I'm gonna be able to start to do more stuff. Jesus. So I just take Colagon's command and then snap, take the Bloodbraid Elf. And then play a tap land. I'm here for the ninth place the IQs. I appreciate it, Robert. Yeah, we're just gonna snap. Snap thought sees the Bloodbraid Elf. And then just pull probably probably actually hold this land now. Because I want like to ditch both of these to a faithless looting if I draw them. <clears throat> so what's the math look like? If I play my fetch land, then we put them in Chump City, and then they don't have a draw, right? Unless they draw Bloodbraid Elf into Bolt, then I block. Yeah, so this actually just puts them in the abyss. Gas. In block. All right. Nice. We saw it. <coughs> yep. I'm going to get some more tea water. I'll be right back. Uh, play bad cards. I play bad cards. Thanks for the follow. You guys want to see the... It's water with tea in it. You guys want to see the cutest dog on Twitch? Right here. Pity boy. There's Philly. He's like, Dad, take me out. I have to poop. Two games, bud. I'm going to win two more games, and then we're going out. <clears throat> Yeah, it's just T, I guess. Yeah. Lime Turtle. Um, 
uh, we're on the play. Nice. I hate hands like this. Like you can't mulligan this, but like against half the deck, half the format, this hand blows. Unless these serum visions rock. There's like the wrong half deck problem for these kind of decks here. Uh, Maxon owns the world. Gravity Gaming, Hearthstone. Or HS, I'm assuming it's Hearthstone. Appreciate the follow. Nice. You're basically a celebrity, right? Celebrity Rob Meadows over there in the house. Okay, so we don't want any of this garbage. <clears throat> it's what card it's what card hoarder, the best bot chain in the business, gave me. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, we're playing a little shadow mirror match action. This is gonna suck. These mirrors are so difficult. There's just so much going on in all these these like between juggling your life total, playing around like death shadow math. Gurmag Angler Delve Map. Oh, they're playing Jun Shadow. Could be Team Pile. What do we got here? Checking out the goods. I'm going to get murked. My hand blows. My opponent's already at 13. They just discard spelled me. I don't have a way to kill a Death Shadow. Yeah, that's like such a. Okay, so we can get nasty, maybe. Nope. I guess we have the push to kill Death Shadow. I'm losing my mind. The ultimate showdown. What do you got here? Show me your delta. We're so dead. It's traversing the Uvenwald. God, this got a special place in my heart here. I actually think that this Jun Shadow deck is likely like depending if they have white in their sideboard, they're probably favored against me. Because I just don't I've only have two fatal pushes and three snapcaster mages. So like if they've got depending on how their deck's built, they probably have an edge. They're gonna have a snapcaster mage. So let's think here. How do I win? They obviously one, four. Okay, so we're just gonna delve and get nasty into play. Oh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna fill my water up. Gonna get this blood crypt. I am going to shock myself. All right, we gotta not we gotta not do this anymore. And I'm gonna leave up this watery grave. Steam vents. I'm gonna get another one of these. Alternatively, I don't even really want to. I actually just kind of want to fully delve because they're going to snap take my. Fatal push anyways, so I'm not going to get the fatal push anything. So I think it's better to just keep my graveyard intact to be able to make it so my other snapcaster mages do stuff, or I can delve easier if I draw another Gurmag Angler. Like, there's no need. My opponent knows what I have. They're going to hit this fatal push anyways. So like, this fatal push and lightning bolt is going to trade for the snapcaster mage. There's no sense in making things harder on myself. The longer the game goes. So I think they're just straight Jun Shadow. What are we doing? No, they're not straight Jun. I'm stupid. They, they, they just traverse for a fucking Snapcaster Mage. They're just like, now we're not casting it. 
Maybe they messed up with how they tapped. I don't know. All right. We'll just take it how we'll take it how we can get it. There. I have no idea how to sideboard against this Jun Shadow deck. Like, I think you want this. I'm fairly certain you want spell bombs. I do not want any stubborn denials in these matchups. They just have too many discard spells. I would rather trade my discard for the discard instead of having my stubborn denials trade for nothing. Engineered Explosives has got to be all right. These Battle Rages are probably not good. The Last Hopes and the K Commands have got to be all right. Or the K Commands and the EEs. I don't know if you're supposed to bring in... Because I never played Grixis Shadow against Jun Shadow when they had EEs in your board. Lava Man or Riot. He's probably fine because we don't have actually many ways to kill Death Shadow effectively. So, like, let's say we want to bring all these in. I probably want to cut some number of these and then, like, a Street Wraith. Probably. Hey, see you later, Johnny. And eat their ass. Yeah, I just don't, like, I think I gotta cut my stubs. Because I just do not see an actual way that Stubborn Denial, like, gets them. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine how sweet Lava Man would be if I could eat their graveyard. Alright, I gotta actually buy this. We're gonna leave in the Miser. The Miser's Stub. Yeah, we're on the way up there. So I missed some follows. Uh, Max owns the world. Oh, I saw. I got those guys. I appreciate you guys all for following here. What are we up to now? I'm up to nine hundred and I got to ship my hand. It's awful. What are we up to now? We're up to. 936 it looks like. So I appreciate y'all for keeping that going. All right, this hand is as good as it's going to get, I think. We got cards to trade. We don't need the set. We don't need the second nasty. So you guys, you guys are all great. I appreciate it. Remember, when I get to 1000, I get to do some more cool stuff. I get to apply to other bot chains and get to uh for more sponsorships, and then get to hopefully work with Card Hoarder, get some new cards, stream some different stuff. I would like to play some Affinity. I have an urge to play Affinity. Like I think I think that deck would be up my alley. <clears throat> I would also like to play. I like playing combo decks when I have the time to and I don't have anything going on. And I wouldn't mind playing Storm. I play, I play Storm from time to time anyways. Um, uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, what else would I like to play? I'd like to be able to play the blue decks. I don't think the blue decks in Modern are particularly good, but they are sure a lot of fun to play. So I kind of want to take this Death Shadow. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this Death Shadow. We're going to hopefully draw land. If we don't draw land, I'm going to... But then if I, like, we're going to take this Death Shadow. Then we're going to look to trade Stubborn Denial with Snapcaster. Snapcaster and Stubborn Denial with my other two discard spells. Whether they resolve or get countered. I just need another land. And I would like to not take the Shadow because I have the EE, but I don't have a second land yet. And there's no guarantee that's going to get there. So this is going to get stubbed. I can't imagine my opponent letting that resolve. Yeah. Then hopefully our next one, hopefully my opponent breaks on a land, and our next one trades with the Snapcaster Mage. <coughs> 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 
<laughs> Thank you very much, Robert. I've not tried. Um, I appreciate Robert. Let's go for the chat for Robert. Get some of the filly emotes going on. We'll go open up some treasure chests. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, man. Robert, we got a comedian. Let's open. We can open up some chests for Robert. Well, my opponent steamrolls me. Just, just absolutely destroys me here. This is for you, Robert. Oh, we have forty play points and a blink of an eye. I think I think you've got to be you got to be subscribed to the channel, my friend, in order to get that one. This is the best emote on Twitch, though. Wow, we've actually been running hot with these. I'm open on one more, then I'm gonna get back to my opponent because Robert's Robert's the man. Oh, we got a Marsh Flats. And it's a Zendikar one. That's nine tickets. Holy shit. Okay, so I took my Liliana. So, this is about to turn into the huge Death Shadow dick punching match that happens here. And I actually think we might win the game. God, you're the man, Robert. Oh man. So now this just turns into a huge, just absolute dick punching match here. Like, I top deck first, you top deck first, we all top deck. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up dis dismembering a Snapcaster Mage and wanna like throw up. Because I can't I can't dismember Tarmogoyf. I can't dismember Death Shadow unless my opponent doesn't shock. If my opponent doesn't shock, I might take a shot or two from this Snapcaster Mage. Uh, 10 play points equals a ticket. Yeah. So one ticket's $1. 10 play points is $1. I think. Yeah. Look at that. We'll just start. I, I feel like opening up chests. I will open up a chest for everybody that follows. Because I'm feeling it. These chests have been useless forever. I'm feeling they play a steam vents. Holy shit. I'm gonna open up one more chest for Robert because he's gas. I'm gonna let this hit me because if my opponent top decks a shadow, we can kill it. But I'm going to dismember this. Other other ways. Other with any other. They just stub this. I'm gonna I'm gonna yarf. I'm actually gonna throw up my opponent's number denials this thing here. They're going to. Oh my god. That's so nasty. Alright. Alright. We don't want any of these. We got we've got like we have three anglers and a death shadow. And four death shadows left in our deck. Let's go back here for Robert and open up one more chest because Robert's the man. And he eats asses or wants to be around when it happens. Which is what matters. Come on. Okay, well, they don't even have a card. All right, we got one draw step, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Come on. What a weird game. Don't play a creature. Oh, we're dead. Tarmogoyf kills us. Because they have it large enough all on their own. What an odd game. What an odd game. I was drawing dead once the Tarmogoyf came down, yes. I could have theoretically played a creature and blocked. All right, the stubborn denial sacrilege. 
even though theirs was nasty. That stubborn denial was disgusting. <clears throat> oh my god, was that stubborn denial just the absolute worst. Pay for life for the dismember and get force spiked. All right. We have a functional hand. And I'm going to lead off on Serum Visions and then bobble them on my opponent's turn. That's always tough. Best card in the matchup. We get to draw them both next turn. They both get out of discard. We can't play both of them, unfortunately. They're probably going to hit my Snapcast Mage with a discard spell if I had to guess. <clears throat> this could be one of those awkward games where someone just runs the other person over because um, one person gets a Death Shadow draw and the other one doesn't. Take my Snapcaster Mage. I hardly knew thee. I kind of want to Faithless Looting on my turn to ditch like EE or Excess Lands in order to look for like something else to do with my one mana. Excuse me, or Discard Spell. Basically, I want Discard Spell or a Cantrip. It's all I want. And I easily can discard these two cards and not feel that bad about it. But I would feel kind of bad about this one, the land. Okay. We unfortunately did not find anything to do. But we are going to go like this. <clears throat> My opponent still has seven cards. Holy shnikes. I mean, we have two lands in play and Faithless Looting, so we're, we're down a card. What do we got? We got a big old Garmatoif coming into town. And time, my wife is coming to town. Go ahead, man. Tough. Kind of a tough take. If you have a Stubborn Denial in your hand, you probably take yeah. So I really don't want to get this Liliana stubbed. Especially if I can just play around it next turn. So I think we're just going to fetch Play Death Shadow. I don't really want my Liliana to get stubbed. And... If they kill this and our Liliana resolves next turn, we can just bring it back down and then get another one. <clears throat> is this getting killed? Yeah, it is. We're just going to push it, okay? So let's really hope they don't have a discard spell. If they have a discard spell, at least we can flash back our looting. Liliana on the Veil would be awful. Pretty boy. Maybe it's time to pick this deck back up. I don't know. Maybe the format, as I, I do tend to think the format's pretty degenerate at the moment. All right. The basic. All right, don't stub me. God, that's probably the game. That is probably just it. No, 
Nice. How's your laptop? What kind of laptop do you have? This felt bad. I feel like I just got worked here. Like, I think, like, they shame conceded game one, but they were kind of ahead. They kind of whipped me in game two, and then they whipped me here. It's just been a whooping. Spell bomb hits my looting, which cuts off some of my draws. Oh, we are just get yeah, Okay, so that probably means we're drawn dead. Yeah. Nice. Way to go. All right, let's jump in here for the last match of the night. We're going to try to get the 4-1. Four, 4-1, one. Four, one, two leagues. It's pretty sweet. In chat, if you want to see... He's closer now. He's come over to sit next to me. Oh, I'm gonna try to get him. Uh, watch out, chat. Pity boy. Pity boy. Pity boy. Pity boy. Say hi to Twitch chat, buddy. All right. It's like, Dad, I'm tired. It's bedtime. Why are you still awake? It's okay, Philly boy. Oof. Let me tell you about TBR on Edge Champion. It's not a great interaction. It's not good. It's not good. Not good at all. <coughs> I literally knew that too. I told that to like somebody that was getting snarky with me in a YouTube comment. Being very rude. And I like got them with that one up rudeness that's like like passive aggressively awesome. You know, like internet, like where like you sit at your computer and you think about it and it's like polite, but you just absolutely rip their soul apart. And then I just did that and I was like, yep. That's how she goes. That's just karma. That's just karma coming back at me. I don't like this hand. I think I'm going to mulligan it. Yeah. I don't have anything going on. Isn't it great? Um, I don't really want to mulligan again. And against a certain percentage of the format, this hand's really good for a six. Oh, God. No, oh, this is not one of those formats. I could just scoop it up and not let my opponent know what I'm playing because I'm just likely dead as a doorknob. Oop, did I hit the play button? No. I don't even really want to play any more of this. They put a card on top as well. We're gonna I guess we're gonna we're gonna play it. But this is likely no bueno here. Hey man, no Tron on three is what I'm talking about. All right, ready? Chat, this is how it's done. There's a Death Shadow on top of my deck. Damn. Damn. Yeah, we aren't getting Tron on three. And they have to draw it to Tron me on four. But like, let's be real, we've all, we've all seen this song and dance before. We all know what's going on. Dude, quit it with your hate speech there, Robert. That Tron on 4 shit. I don't need to hear any of that. Alright. Alright, that does something. See, no Tron. We can't. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna just gonna take they can ghost quarter themselves and get Yeah, we're just gonna take his ancient stirrings for no real great informed reason besides like we just hope they don't hit 
the mine. Get out of my face, dude. Way to hold your land. God, that feels good. They're just trawling it up right there. Oh, that's justice. You haven't lived until you've molten rain to Tron land. Oh, man. That is just living the life. Okay, we're not going to cast that because we know what's going on. Fucking <laughs> Tron players. <laughs> The thing is, we just know my opponent's going to top, going to hit like the land. It's just not going to matter at all. We can determine if we're going to scoot. Chromatic Star? Probably can't beat it. Do we know there's one card in their hand we don't know? Probably. We're, ne we're never casting his Fate Sleuthing to actually matter. Okay. Double Ulamog. As if the first one was beatable. Just in case we could beat the first one, they got the second one. All right, nice. I'm glad I played this game out. This has been way more entertaining than just scooping on turn two. Like, just way more entertaining. God, play it. Just land that. Oh, dude, they played around four spike. Oh, yeah. We're doing it. <laughs> All right. I've, I've had enough. That's where I draw the line. That does feel good. All right. So against Tron... This is how we do it. And I like to cut Moon Snapcaster Mage. Everyone wanted a red hero's downfall. <laughs> Wasted <laughs> land in the land. God, you should work. This one should. Yeah, you should work for R&D, Rob. I would like to play first, yes. So we can loot into what we need, I guess, and a redraw to help get our angler. I think you gotta keep this. Because we get to put three, three, four cards in our graveyard. So if we, put a, if we find a fetch land, we can play angler on two. I think I'm gonna keep this. Our teamer would be pushed. I'm going to keep my hand. We can play Angler on two, potentially. A Braid is decent if they miss, and the Faithless Looting hopefully digs us to what we need. Well, I mean, you're not, like, snap keeping this, right, Nameless? Like, this is kind of like we keep it, but, like, it's not great because there's not even a guarantee of getting Angler on two. I would agree with your statement there. Faithless looting helps out a lot. Because theoretically, like, we're not going to need... We're probably not going to need the second Death Shadow. And, like, I could see tossing this a braid away in order to make sure to get this Gurmag going. I would agree. This is where Faithless looting shines. Let's you keep a lot of hands. My opponent's tanking. Yes, we're we're a long way from double death shadow. Like, like double death shadow is is rough. Or it's going to take a lot, but we do get to see a lot of cards here. <laughs> Dude, everybody's good at something. Why couldn't my opponent just mulligan? It's all I want. Okay, so let's think. It's 
So this is like fetch shock 15 cycle. If we go, if we put a braid death shadow in the graveyard, that's one, two, three, bobbles four, scalding tarn is five, street wraith is six. So if I draw another street wraith, if I go like here and here, then I can play two threats on two, which I think is what we want to do here. I think this is what we're looking to do. Oh, wrong one. I guess we hold the bobble. No, because if I hit a second street wraith, it's just such high upside. I think I get to I lose a scry, but like, you know, such is life. I tend to not like holding bobbles because it's card disadvantage on cast. So I'm gonna use my mana anyways. So let's go get a land here. Yeah, that's a nice seize. All right, so my Death Shadow is going to be just as large as Ger oh, Actually, what, one, two, three, four. So my Death Shadow is going to be just as large as Gurmag Angler next turn, and I get to Thought Seize this turn, so I think we're going to play, play it like this. And we can still hit the Gurmag Angler regardless of what we do here. So I'm going to take this Oblivion Stone, because I'd like them to, like... Because they might not do anything on their third turn. So I'm going to take O-Stone. And then... It's just such higher upside if I play Death Shadow. Because it's just the same anyways. <clears throat> so there's the mine. Wow. Wow. Alright, I'm going to get a Steam Vents. Crack my opponent for five. Play nasty. Get nasty. Let me tell you about my boy Gurmag Angler. Nasty Gurmasty, baby. God, I love Gurmag Angler so much. Philly Dog, do you love Gurmag Angler? Dad, I love Gurmag. My opponent's just going to slam a Worm Coil Engine and I'm just going to hurl. <laughs> so help me God, I'll pack the chickens. I might just accidentally right click concede after you say that. I do, I am a fan of chickens. Get out of my face. They play their mine, right? So one, two, three, four. I know all but one of their cards. God, how sick would a ceremonies rejection be? Or just yeah, dude. We might have drawn alright this game. Like, we might have done okay. At this channel, nameless, it is nasty germasty, not the big fish. This channel, we don't go fishing, we get nasty. Just ask Rob Meadows. <laughs> I know, it did. It stayed at one mana floating. I was like, God damn it, here comes a worm coil engine and I can't win. Alright, we're gonna send it back. Big Nux. That's the knuckle blade though. That's not Gurmag Angler. Heater, Hearthstone Hand. All right, I mean, if there's like a Death Shadow right on top of our deck, where this hand's not bad, we don't want that. What if I told you? <laughs> you sound like a you sound like an ESPN documentary, Rob. What if I told you, like a thirty for thirty one, that. A one mana five drop 
thought that he was a good mag angler. I don't think I can keep this, even though this card's pretty good. I think we're literally just digging for Death Shadows. And I'm going to... There's not really any point for me casting these Street Wraiths. Unless I hit, like, a bunch of Street Wraiths. Oh, nice. I'm just going to take the Worm Coil Engine. This hand's got, like, so... It's so redundant, it's going to find its pieces. Just going to, like... Take the payoffs. Okay, that's nice. That's a good thing we're awarded there for holding off with our second street wraith. Play a forest. Please play a forest, damn it. So we have four cards. God, we, we're so unlucky. We are just so unlucky. Such a watery grave, cycle, street race. Hopefully this bad boy brings us to the promised land next game. All right, we're just going to take an ancient stirrings. You would not, you already bottomed two lands. Okay, shuffle back in. That makes sense. That certainly makes sense, sir. I don't think about that very often, but those are like very little percentage plays that I miss. Like if I, if I always overlook something, it is the cycling back in. Okay, so they play Relic, play Forest. They probably pop it. They should pop it. Yeah. So they have Ancient Star. I know two out of the four cards. Okay, so we access the lands. Is that land actually dead? No. But, okay, come on, baby. Hook me up. That's not a bad one. Like, Ceremonies Rejections Dece. Yeah, we're just going to let this go. We're going to let all the cantrip stuff go and just counter big things. My opponent's got, is like, they already got an Ancient Stirrings. Their hand's so redundant. We need to draw a critter. <laughs> yeah, where you at? They not cast. Okay, K Command's not bad. Though I think I'm just going to go Shockland. I'm already at four. Holy shit. I'm not paying attention to that. Should I shock myself and flashback looting? Yeah, we can counter a walking blister. Motherfucker, dude. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I kind of just want to snap this Serum Visions off. Yeah, this one's been rough. Because, like, if I can scry a Death Shadow, then that's good. I probably could just land a Thrag Tusk next turn. That's something they easily could have. Their Ancient's turn is gone. I don't know any of their four cards. They didn't play a Tron piece. No, I guess we'll just do it next turn. Dude, I need I need a Death Shadow. Give me a Death Shadow. This Thrag Tusk, Hurl. You bastard. Come on, dude. Give me an 80. Give me an 11-11. All right, put these on the bottom. We get a lot of looks at it. That's just game. Oh. Sad. Going out on my terms. Going out on my 
terms, ladies and gentlemen.